Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to some more Five Nights at Freddy's news. We are approaching the seventh anniversary of this beloved franchise. And so today, along with the more traditional FNAF news like the Fazbear Fright books and Pop Goes Evergreen, we also have a few details on what we can expect on the 8th for the anniversary of FNAF. And I'll tell you exactly what you can expect, a seven hour stream from me over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash johnnyblocks. Yeah, we have a tradition where every year I stream for the certain number of years that FNAF has been out this year, of course being the seventh anniversary means I'm going for seven hours. So if you want to watch it, it's twitch.tv slash johnnyblocks. I'll also be streaming tonight. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel because we do have some very exciting stuff coming on the 8th and you do not want to miss it. So speaking of the anniversary, let's kick off this video by talking about the FNAF and Hex collaboration. Hex is is Darko's brand, yes, his official brand, and it's doing a collaboration with FNAF and Scott. And in the past, we've seen the Freddy plushie, the Bonnie and Fredbear plushie, and they made a tweet the other day saying, so it's FNAF's anniversary this Sunday, it sounds cool with eyes. So I think we can expect some more FNAF Hex plushies reveals on the anniversary. So far, we have yet to see the Chica and Foxy plushie, also maybe they finally found out a way that they can make the Mango plushie. I don't know, some very exciting stuff we're gonna have to stay tuned and find out what we're gonna get. Moving on now, we have some book news starting off with the Freddy Files Ultimate Edition. It appears that they changed the official face of the book from FNAF AR Bonnie to Freddy Frostbear, which I think is a great addition. I think having Bonnie on the cover was a bit weird. He's not really a new, interesting character, no offense, Bonnie. So I think putting Frostbear on the cover is a great idea. I will say the render that they used does look a bit strange, but honestly, I think it looks fine. The Ultimate Guide is going to have info on Have Wanted, Curse of Dreadbear, the Fastbear Freud books, and of course, now FNAF AR. It comes out on November the 2nd, so we don't have too much longer to wait. Speaking of the Fastbear Freud books, the titles for the chapters in the 10th book, Friendly Face, have been revealed. Of course, story number one is Friendly Face, story number two is See Bonnie's, and then story number three, get this, is Together Forever. Which means, yes, Scott did just rickroll us in the Fastbear Freud series, because that is a song made by Rick Astley. Taking a look at the description for the book, I can definitely see the C. Bonnie's title walking with the second story, where Mark quickly flushes his brother's creepy new pet down the drain. So I really hope that we don't see sunken toy Bonnie crawl out of Mott's brother's toilet, because I feel like that is... It definitely has a high chance of happening in the story. These stories are weird, man. As for Homecoming Queen Jessica and Together Forever, I don't really see where that could go. Reprogramming a defunct animatronic. I don't know, maybe it's gonna stick with Jessica throughout the entire story. We're gonna have to wait and see. It releases in almost exactly a month on September 7th. And then we also have an updated cover for the second box set for the Fazbear Fright series and also the Felix the Shark book. It looks like he's now swimming in some toxic waste, maybe a polluted water source, or it could just be a green aesthetic for the background, I don't know. And the box set arrives on December the 7th. Moving on, we have FNAF AR. It has received a few updates, both in the form of official updates fixing bugs, and also updates to the Freddy Festival blast from the past happening right now. Do you feel that chill in the air? It's Black Ice Frostbear. Come by the Freddy Festival for his meet and greet. So you have Black Ice Frostbear coming into the Freddy Festival, and of course you also have have Woodland Toy Freddy. This isn't a forest, and that's no tree. Say hello to Woodland Toy Freddy. He sure would. <laughs> Like to see you at the Freddy Festival. I think that is an amazing render of Woodland Toy Freddy. And like I mentioned earlier, there was a official update to the game that added new dynamic asset system for faster load times, various fixes to animatronic encounters, numerous fixes to animatronic models, and updates to the UI and localized text. Uh, but apparently, for some players that added mods into their game, this caused a few issues. As you can see, Kane Carter made a tweet showing off just the craziest stuff that came with this update. Like I said, a lot of the bugs showcased here only happened to players who installed mods to the game, but the long, long username bug did impact quite a few players, and FNAF AR even made an update to the problem saying, hey y'all, we wanted to give clarity around some issues seen on the modded game's devices after downloading the new update. Our current understanding is that these issues only affected a handful of users that have modded their devices' games, which isn't supported. We are investigating these cases 
this further, but the new update should not be an issue for non-modded games and devices. So yeah, happy that that is being dealt with. It seemed like this update included a lot of bug updates that they mentioned are going to be happening in the fall update. And so hopefully soon we can see even more updates start to roll out as we get closer to the fall and the fall updates. Moving on to the final topics for the video, the Fazbear Fanverse Initiative, starting off with Pop Goes Evergreen. It looks like Kane has finally settled on a thumbnail for the game over on Game Jolt. And my gosh, this thumbnail looks absolutely insane. Again, I really, really love this new thumbnail. I think it looks absolutely insane. We also got a quick update on the One Night at Flumpty's console ports. If you remember last time, Click Team was reaching out to FNAF developers that work in Game Maker Studio, which is the engine that the One Night at Flumpty's games are made in to see if they can help out porting the games. And while Click Team didn't necessarily say that this was for the Flumpty's franchise, I think it's pretty clear. And like I said earlier, I do think, again, this hasn't been confirmed, this is just my opinion, right? So they've released One Night at Flumpty's 1 and 2 on mobile, and so I think, right, I think, again, hasn't been confirmed, I think, that Flumpty's 3 has officially been ported to mobile, and now they're moving on to the console ports, but they need a bit of help. Again, that's my line of thinking. Thankfully, it seems like they have found some people to help out with the porting of the games. And so hopefully, I mean, Maybe this year we can get Flumpty's 3? That'd be pretty awesome. And now let's talk about FNAF Plus because oh boy, this is insane. This is probably the best news that we've had in a very long time. But quickly, let's touch upon the puzzle that is apparently happening in the descriptions of the FNAF Plus videos. Kane made a tweet saying the titles and descriptions for the five released FNAF Plus teaser videos have been updated. Each description has been given a single new character, possibly acting as a piece of a incompleted puzzle. And as you can see, the puzzle so far has F, H, Q, O, and U. I think that this is going to be some form of URL code. Though it seems like this is too short to be a YouTube link right now, it could very well over time develop into a YouTube video link. So far it seems like this is all we have on the info, so let's just move on. Alright, now we have the big ticket news for today, the FNAF Plus Short Breaking and Entering is premiering on August the 8th. I did not think that we would get any fanverse news for the anniversary, you know, maybe an update on Security Breach, maybe the movie if anything, but yeah, we're getting a FNAF Plus short. I am super excited for this, and to let you know why, Phil released a few notable details on the short, so let's go over those right now. He said it's the final teaser video planned for FNAF Plus, originally meant to release after a gameplay showcase. So it seems like even though this is the final teaser video, it does seem like we're gonna get maybe a trailer and most definitely a gameplay showcase later on in the future. But moved forward to celebrate the seventh anniversary of the series and as a milestone for the anime asset rendering. It's an animated short, slightly longer than the rest of the video teasers, okay so maybe around two minutes. It will not feature any gameplay footage, but it will hint at some key new features of the game. That's interesting. The short is set before the events of FNAF Plus, serving as an important prologue to the game. So I'm thinking it's going to show someone breaking into, you know, of course breaking and entering into the establishment, and then when the game releases we'll play the aftermath of that incident. That was my I guess, again, not confirmed, but let's keep reading. The short was created over the course of a intensive, busy month of animation work, made during my free time away from a equally as stressful college exam season. It includes some of my best work so far, and I'm really proud of the final results. That's awesome to hear. The short, much like FNAF Plus itself, contains a darker atmosphere and some potentially disturbing content which fans of the series may not be used to. As such, a content warning for it will be displayed at the beginning of the premiere, it looks like this. Warning, this footage contains flashing lights, loud noises, and content some viewers may find disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. This is a huge step forward in the development of this game and was one of the things I was most looking forward to creating and showing to everyone since I was contacted by Scott to make this project. I really hope you guys will tune into the premiere. See you soon. Oh yeah, almost forgot, no release date of any kind will be featured for FNAF Plus anywhere on the short. Still hold it 
work on the game, lots to be done. I wouldn't dare put dates on a project like this when so many variables could delay it and disappoint. That is all. So yeah, now do you know why I'm super excited for the anniversary? It's so nice to know that we actually have something to look forward to. I think this is gonna be insane, but we're not done with the trailer just yet because we have a few more details. So Phil Morg, right, Fiznom being the sneaky son of a troll he is, put up a poll on Twitter asking if people wanted the short now or on the anniversary, and release it now actually won, and Phil replied, for anyone that thinks that this is a meme or a joke, here is a screenshot of the unlisted video as I'm looking at it right now. Please don't think that this is for the lols, I'm just really excited for you guys to check it out, but I understand if you don't want me to. And then it has this image. As you can see, it is a unlisted video posted on the 1st of August, titled Breaking and Entering with 25 Views. The video is 13 and a half minutes, and the thumbnail is a exit door and sign. And just to make it clear, it was a troll, right? He, he completely trolled us. We got bamboozled as always with Phil Morg. But the meme video was only a couple of minutes. So it's interesting to speculate. Is this 13 and a half minute video actually the animated short? Or was this also part of the troll? Earlier on, Phil did say that the teaser was slightly longer than the rest of the teaser videos, which were like one, two minutes. So having the video be 13 and a half minutes, yeah, that's only slightly longer. So yeah, what do you think? Is this actually the trailer? But that is all the news we have for today. Again, the anniversary is rapidly approaching. What do you guys want to see on the 8th? I do have my predictions, but I do want to save that for a video tomorrow. So again, let me know what you guys want to see. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side.